Well, Alex has stepped out of the studio and into the kitchen to make some peach cobbler. I cannot wait to see this, Alex. Take it away. I know, I am so excited. I'm here with Rachel again this morning. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited to be making peach cobbler because guess what? I've never made it. So I'm a rookie. I told you I wanted something very easy, yes. simple, but delicious to make yes. for Thanksgiving. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, really, who wants to put all that effort into doing, like, some serious cooking this yeah, holiday season? <laughs> definitely. So let's talk a little bit about the peach cobbler. What are our bases that we have here? We obviously have the peaches. So we have our peaches. Um, you want to use frozen peaches. You can, if you want and if you're brave enough, you can do fresh peaches. But you have to process <laughs> them. And it's just, like, so much work. Fresh is better. Like, the frozen is the best for, in my opinion. Then we have brown sugar. Sugar. We have a zest of a lemon. We have some lemon juice, cornstarch, and cinnamon. Basic ingredients. Nothing too crazy. Now that's easy. Yeah. That's like a lot of household things that yeah. you already have very easy. Okay. Typically. And then we're doing the biscuit on top as well. Yes. And typical, just easy drop biscuit. We have flour, we have cream, um, baking powder, salt, and some sugar. All right. Let's get to cooking. Show me what to do. Okay. So first we're going to do the peaches. So we have frozen peaches, and then we're just gonna get the zest of a lemon. Now I wouldn't think lemon on peaches. Why the lemon zest? So the lemon brings a brighter um, flavor. Typically people use um, canned peaches, which I don't really recommend. They're very sweet. And because they're typically um, in heavy juice or heavy like um, syrup. So you'll just mix that around a little bit because you want to like make sure that it's evenly distributed. You would typically cut the lemon and just juice it. I have extra juice on the side. So you'll just throw that with the peaches. It will keep it very bright. And then so brown sugar, you'll put the cinnamon and the cornstarch. And then you'll just mix it around, you know, just with our hands because... Yes, we're picking with our hands here, people. We got the okay. gloves on. <laughs> and so we'll just toss it. Honestly, this is it. That's it? Yeah. Just oh peaches, the sugar, and you'll just, like, let it hang out. Now, that's the kind of recipe I'm talking about. That's so easy. Okay. Yeah, so easy. And then, so we'll just dump this into a pan. And so this will go into a 13 by 9 or whatever you have. I have... A 13 by 9, you said? Yes. So typically, how many people would this be? This particular um, recipe? Okay, depends on how much you eat, but, you know... <laughs> a generous portion. A generous portion, <laughs> I'd say 12 to 15, 12 to 16. Oh, okay. Yeah, because right. this will cook down a little bit. Okay, gotcha. So you'll just make sure that you have all your sugars in here, and then that's it. It's like a dumping... Now that was easy, okay. Yeah. okay. So now I'm no chef, I'm not gonna try to act like one. So, okay, now what do I need to do for the biscuit? So the biscuit, you're gonna add the flour first. Okay. Flour, and then you'll add the sugar, salt, and baking powder. Okay, sugar, salt, baking powder. Okay. And then you'll just like mix it around with your hand a little bit okay. so like the baking powder is distributed into the flour. Like this, yes. very easy, okay. Okay, and then you'll slowly pour the cream in and then you're gonna make the biscuit, so. Slowly. <laughs> so pour the cream in and then I'll mix it for you so I can, okay. I can switch with the, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you'll just keep adding it. You'll see it come together. You don't wanna work it too much. You know, everybody's scared of gluten. You don't want gluten. So <laughs> well, this is kind of good to do with the kids, you yeah. know. Kind of have them work with their hands, get messy for the holiday season, do something fun. Definitely. And then some flour is like, um, is more thirsty than others. So you might have to add a little more cream. You're just looking for like a drop biscuit consistency. Um, okay, let's get, we should be good there. Good. Okay, and then perfect. so in the bakery, we have scoops. You can use, do it by hand. Obviously it comes together enough that you can just like place it on top, but we'll just use the- We'll use the scooper? Yeah, we'll use the scoop. Okay. Just, you would just like want to place it in the middle? Um, you can just like place it all around because you okay. want like even dis distribution. And then while she does that. Now see, this is what I like because I'm not really a baker. <laughs> so having something simple to make is always just very nice. And, and you know, having something homemade yeah. is kind of nice. And you'll actually impress people with this. This is the recipe we use here. It's like proven and tried. If you've had it, um, we've gotten good feedback on it. Okay. So we'll Are you proud? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll just spread it around a little bit. And okay. then, so um, you'll just use heavy cream and you'll just brush the top of the biscuits because you want the browning. And then we have decorative sugar. You can get it at Michael's, but you can also use like raw sugar. So if you go ahead and just um, yeah. sprinkle that on top. This is the fun part. Okay, I'm gonna put a lot of sugar because yeah. I like sugar. <laughs> cool. It gives it a cool crunch. Like, and that's how, why. And how long do you bake this for? So, um, the larger ones we would bake between 35. It really depends on the oven. You have to be, you have to look at the, um, 
the hints. The peaches are boiling and the top is like nice and brown like our sample one. Yeah, so let's show the finished product here. So this is the finished product. We make them in smaller portions so you can try it. You know, they're individual, but they're really for two people. But and especially they're if you're having like a smaller Thanksgiving, this isn't bad to just have like an individual one, yeah. you know, something like that. And they do still have some in the case here this morning. They don't open till 10 o'clock, so <laughs> we're in here a little bit early. Uh, but they do have a whole case of different selections that you can also choose from. So if you are having a smaller Thanksgiving and you want something that only feeds like, you know, one or two people, yeah. definitely the perfect thing to pick up. And of course, we will have this recipe on our website turn to 23.com. Rachel, thank you so much. I love an easy recipe that you can just whip together, especially Definitely. for the holidays. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Rachel. You're All right, welcome. Barry, I'm going to send it back over to you.